Okay, so here's uh, Neil's Mad Max Zuma 125. That's what I call it. I don't know what he calls it. <laughs> totally customized. And I've had quite a few people ask me for a uh, detailed breakdown uh, of Neil's trailer and what he's done to it, how he built it, and kind of how it's evolved over the last few years for him. And yeah, and I'm going to show all of his uh, customizations and stuff here too. All Everything you see on here is custom fab by Neil for his... Uh, touring on this little uh, Zuma. So he's got his own uh, custom-made uh, plexiglass windshields, all these mounts, everything you see here, he's all fabricated everything. Uh, hand guards, uh, leg deflectors, this uh, frame uh, for the headlight uh, winglet, whatever you want to call it, everything's all custom. Under here he's got a, a bar that he fabricated to put his highway pegs on. And that's tied into, you know, strong frame points everywhere. He's got an extra little foot plate here. Uh, he's got his uh, jerry can and coffee uh, carriers here. Uh, it's a homemade jerry can that fits in this spot. Notice the uh, circular cutout. That's so he can clear his, uh, his uh, thermos. Uh, and then the, uh, the coup de gras that we looked at last time is his homemade... Uh, oil carrier. So this is not just an oil carrier, it's a drain pan all in one. So he drains the oil into the catch pan here, fills the fresh oil back into the motor from the container, and then pours the waste oil in this back into that. Uh, and people say, well, why do you need to change your oil on the road? Well, this thing is supposed to have an oil change every 1,800 to 2,000 miles. We can do that in half of a trip. So there's that answer. <laughs> and then this guy, what do you think that weighs empty, Neil? About 30, 30 pounds? pounds? About 30 pounds. So this started its life as a Suzuki JR650. Or, I'm sorry, 650. JR50, a uh, little scooter, a uh, little mini bike. And he used the rear swing arm and the steering neck to create the basic uh, shell of it. And then the frame, the under cradle here, is just all custom pieces that he's developed over time and he carries everything on this from tools to camping goods to everything fitting in that uh, plastic tote over there and uh, it's uh, ultimately functional we've used it to carry firewood he carries pretty much everything you can imagine and how it articulates is he's got two points that tie off of uh, kind of where the upper point of the rear shock is but he's made this bracket here and that allows the up and down and then it's the steering head from the Suzuki JR50 or something along those lines uh, that gives you your side to side. So it tracks with the bike in a corner. It leans with the bike the same direction the bike is going, but then as it's cornering, the trailer can articulate independently. So, got enough suspension back here. It's tight, works good, doesn't bounce around, doesn't do anything silly all the way. While things burn. Yeah, just in case uh, something's burning that doesn't need to burn. He's got his fire extinguisher. This is a new addition that he's added to the front of this uh, new central frame here uh, for his Rotopax water carrier. And we'll just load it up here bit by bit. We use rock straps uh, to secure everything down for the most part. Some of it's bungees, uh, but the big box is held down by rock straps because they keep positive tension on stuff all the time. And then uh, got his uh, cook kit here. straps everything in and it's all bespoke fit for everything that uh, he has on here. He's made all the brackets to fit exactly the pieces of kit that he's taken with him. He's got all of his tire changing tools, he's got ratchet, uh, everything that he needs to pull apart the CVT housing, replace a belt, and he did have to replace a belt on the way out here for this. I'll show a picture of that, I'll throw that in there. But he, uh, he got about halfway here and uh, blew a belt at 20,000 miles, you think it was, roughly on that belt, something like that? He's getting about 18 to 20,000 miles out of his uh, CVT belts. So all these tools just slot right in, and they're all a friction, friction and pressure fit with each other, and they just stay in there. So now we got the box going back on. Strap it over, cinch it down. 
and then normally what he carries on top of here is a little folding camp stool and his tent uh, strapped underneath these straps on the top of the box. But of course those are over at camp. So that's done. That's ready to hit the road. Got his jerry can in here. What's that, about a gallon? A little, little under a gallon? A little, little more. A little over a gallon, okay. Around. Coffee. Coffee. Strap that puppy in. And this is command central for... Wood, uh, wood kicker. Oh yeah, 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 you got your big puck. This goes here. Nice. <laughs> and everything, place for everything and everything in its place. And here's his uh, funnel for the uh, oil changes. So that's so, command central for the Touring Zuma. Got two bolts. Uh -huh. Pulls that bracket. Three, three. Third one pulls this. Four, five, six. This whole thing comes off. Seven, eight. And it's back to a strip plate. Right. And then he's got a quick disconnect harness there for his wiring that runs the tail light and turn signals. So he can pretty much just undo those two upper bolts from the trailer, pull the electrical, and drop that at camp, and then just ride the Zuma Bob without uh, trailer behind it. So there is the uh, Mad Max Touring Zuma. And what are you at, 40,000 on this now? A little over 40,000 miles on this little Zuma. He's planning on tearing it down, tearing down the motor right around 50,000 miles to see what it looks like inside and uh, uh, do a new piston and rings and valves and oil pump and all that, but it's working. So here's the uh, trailer in motion. You can see how it uh, articulates. He can do real tight figure eights on this thing. And the trailer just follows exactly where the bike is going. It stays in the same path. <laughs> awesome.